Hey guys, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. I got some requests to kind of do a walk around on the new Frontier. Uh, if you've watched some of my recent videos, you've seen I bought this 2008 Titan swapped uh, Frontier on 35s. It's awesome, I'm super excited about it. However, on my way home, the motor blew basically. Uh, it started knocking really bad and uh, doesn't work. So anyways, since it is stuck in my driveway until I can get the motor swapped, um, I figured I'd just do a quick walk around and kind of show you guys the modifications that exist on it now. And then in the future here, I will do a video talking about kind of how I'm gonna change it up, what I'm gonna change on the truck. Um, again, it's really well set up, so I'm super excited about it the way that it is, but I definitely have some things I'm gonna change, some things with the setup that are gonna be slightly modified, um, but I'll kind of walk you through all that stuff here. All Things Overlanding is brought to you by Red Arc Power Management Solutions. Rugged Bound Supply Company, Rooftop Tents, Awnings, Roof Racks, and more. Overland Addict, Premium Overland Gear. Last US Bag, Overlanding Bags and Equipment. Northology Overland, Trips and a Monthly Overlanding Magazine. All of these companies are really amazing, so I highly recommend you click through the links in the description below to learn more about each of them. Up on top of the cab, it's got an aluminum PNP rack, which is pretty cool. Gives me a ton of ability to mount things. Uh, one of the things that I really, really like about this truck, uh, again, if you followed my Xterra build before, you know that I had kind of made the switch completely to Oxbeam. So Oxbeam lights, just for the price, are a great value, and they put out a ton of light. So I'm really excited that they've got uh, Oxbeam ditch lights on this thing. Um, they do have it currently hooked up through like sort of an off-brand S-Pod, um, but I guess that broke. So he gave me a brand new Oxbeam brand version of the S-Pod, which I've got in here that I need to install still. But so that'll be coming here in the near future. Um, but that'll be the plan just to control all the lights um, and some other things, which I will get into as we go through the truck. So again, starting up front, this truck was built by PNP Engineering. So if you're familiar with them, they built a lot of Nissan, Xterra stuff, Frontier stuff. Um, some Toyota stuff, I think, but they are mostly in the Nissan Toyota game. Um, so they built this bumper. It's kind of a custom, I would call it like a low profile bumper. Really, really sharp. And again, it is equipped all the way across with Oxbeam stuff. There's also a Harbor Freight 12,000 pound Apex winch in the bumper here uh, with a wireless controller, which is a really nice upgrade for me uh, because my previous one was wired and it was some Chinese knockoff too. So this should be fine. Um, so, but really nice couple recovery points on it. He recently repowder coated it too, right before I bought the truck, which is really nice of him. Um, you know, plasti dipped front grill. The headlights are pretty beat. I am actually going to replace those. And uh, I will probably, again, in the future updates video, I'll be talking a little bit about what I'm going to go with on those. Um, underneath, you can see it is fully armored with PNP stuff. It's a mix of aluminum and steel stuff all the way back. So really, really excited about that. Tons of protection underneath the truck, which is awesome. Um, again, he recently went through the whole truck, cleaned everything up. He's basically had it for about a year and he's only done wheeling pretty much in Moab with it. So it's still super, super clean under here, as you can see, which is awesome. Um, it's got Radflow two and a half inch lift coils in the front. Again, SPC upper control arms and uh, Titan brakes and lines as well. So tons of space in there. Um, and, but again, this is just what's so cool about these Titan swap trucks is that you basically take all the components in the front from a full-size Nissan Titan and they bolt up to the Frontier. So now you've got a wider track, you've got heftier components, more beefy stuff, um, and you can see just how clean all that stuff is in there. So it should take a lot more abuse than a stock Frontier uh, suspension would. And then it is currently riding on 35-inch tires all the way around. Um, the rears, in order to basically kind of come close to the fronts, and you can see here, the Titan swap makes it really wide in the front, and even the back doesn't quite keep up with that. It's on a two-inch spacer back there, and he swapped in an M205 diff out of an off-road trim, because this truck is an, actually an S trim. But So he swapped in the M205. That is also run off of the S-Pod. So on the S-Pod, you can actually manually switch it. Even if you're in two-wheel drive, you can switch the rear locker electronically on and off, without having to be in four wheel drive, which is kind of a nice little feature. Um, but so it, does, it is on a two inch spacer in the rear um, and it's on old man emu leaf packs. 
in the rear back here too so again full leaf replacement um, with you know new stuff to give me a two and a half inch lift and the Bilsteins uh, I think they're 5100s again for the four-door frontier it's a really long truck but of course it has PNP sliders on the side which cover the whole side with the kick out at the rear just to protect the rear doors which is really nice um, of course to accommodate the 35s he did have to do some trimming but he did a pretty good job on it and then painted it all too so no rust or anything right now should hopefully hold up around back here of course it's got the PNP uh, rack this one is the high rack they do make a mid rack and this high rack but the thing that I liked about the high rack was one that it gives me more space inside the bed under the rooftop tent because already with the decked system that's in here in the back there's just not a lot of room and two, they've got this really cool, really nicely CNC machined uh, window protector. So if anything happens to slide around in the truck, it's not going to bash through the back window and pop that out, which is really nice. Moving around to the back here too, of course there's a PNP rear bumper on it with a big old swing out to hold that 35. And then it's got, you know, a couple of recovery points and a hitch on the rear, which is pretty nice. Um, I did, when I bought the truck, I had him swap over all my stuff. So I've got my OVS 180 awning up there, I've got my WeBoost, my GMRS from Midland. I've got my rugged bound big country 4x4 rooftop tent and then of course my traction bars and my gun case that's holding all my like chairs and that sort of stuff so that all just moved straight over which is pretty nice um, there are also some really nice chase lights built into the rack which are also on the s-pod um, and the the white reverse lights are wired into the reverse lights so if you put it in reverse it's automatically going to kick on and uh, it helps illuminate really really well behind the truck as i mentioned there is a full deck system with the channels on this on the top back here um, it's really really nice i'm actually really liking this thing so it's got some storage you know down in there and then you've also got you know i don't have my keys on me right now but if you're not familiar with deck boxes basically you pull the swing out out drop down the tailgate and then there's two really large drawers in here that will actually pull all the way out so they're basically the length of the bed so it's really really handy with tons of storage so i think i'm going to keep all my kitchen stuff in there probably some recovery stuff that sort of thing that will all go in there um, now on the sides here too they've got these rails that run the full length i think those are stock i think those just come on the frontiers um, but then you can see there's one right there and then i've got the other one in the cab but there's a high lift mount back here already, which I'm going to utilize for my high lift. So I don't have to, I had it previously in the Xterra behind my passenger front seat, but now I'm going to put it in the bed, which is kind of a nice thing to get it out of the way, but it'll still be underneath of the rooftop tent. So it'll have some protection from weather and things like that. The other cool thing about this rack is that all of these, you see how they've got two bolts in here, right? Those could be loosened. And then these actually, so right now they're tight because we tightened them down, but all of these, including the ones on the side can actually be loosened and then slid around so you can move them up and down um, you can move them turn them sideways we could turn this one upside down and then use this to mount additional stuff too um, there is a rotopax mount over here on the outside and i do have a rotopax can that i'm going to put on the truck two gallon um, that will go right there which is pretty handy but just tons of flexibility in this setup right there's going to be a ton of ways that i can mount different things down and underneath of the the rack and then again with these tie downs on top of the decked box that's going to be pretty handy too because i will be able to just attach all kinds of stuff i'm going to have to figure out something with a refrigerator because i think that mine is too tall my current alpacool and i'm also kind of worried that it's not ruggedized enough to withstand the weather in the back of the the bed so i may put it in the back seat of the truck um, again i was really excited i really wanted a four-door frontier just because if i take you know the kids with me then i've got plenty of room back there all right guys so that is the truck as it sits right now um, again there will definitely be some more videos coming talking more in depth about the modifications and stuff also talking through some of the changes i'm going to be making to it um, if you remember from my xterra i have a 100 watt energy solar panel that i've got to mount which i'm kind of thinking of putting up on top of the cab again i'll do a video on the future mods that i'm going to make i've got some pretty cool ideas already for what to do with this thing but um, the, just the way that it sits right now it's going to be super awesome super capable so as soon as the motor gets swapped um, i'm excited to take it out on some trips and learn a little bit more about my setup i'm going to have to totally relearn my whole um, kitchen setup right because that's totally different now with a truck it's a little bit different than it was before with the Xterra with the drawer system. So I don't have the drawer system anymore. I have the deck system. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Um, I've also got some DIY mods planned already, like for the tailgate, I'm gonna build my own sort of mountain hatch style uh, tailgate cover for that. So that'll be coming. So just stay tuned for more to come on this frontier. I'm super excited to bring you guys some more on this, but it is a rad truck and now it just needs to run. 
So thanks again for watching. As always, down in the description, there are links to Facebook, Instagram, the podcast. Um, if you're looking to kind of find a group, if you're especially if you're like a newer overlander and you're tired of the groups where everybody, uh, you know, is judgmental and, and sort of gives people a hard time, come and join the Patreon page because we've got a good small group in there that is, you know, helpful and everybody's helping each other and it's just a great place to be. So again, thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time. Yeah.